Protect yourself at all times. Fight hard, fight clean, and good luck. Okay. Away, they touch gloves. And we get going from the back stoppage. Antonio DeMarco got him. Per se, hasn't lost in over five years. Yeah, he was actually with Freddie Roach. He's got a, a, a noted gym in London. He's a, is a prize fighter in Japan, from Venezuela. Extra, he's got that flashiness, that speed, that it's of a round. Not a guy he's used to applying relentless pressure. If you want to beat Jorge Linares, it takes concussive power. Interesting to see how these two will match up tonight. Hester tweeted, I appreciate it. I want the opportunity. Let's go. Yeah, his entire professional career. Not much feeling out. Ten seconds to go. Flow starter. Victories. He's good enough, close enough, competitive enough from the canvas to, to stop uh, Kevin Mitchell. In, uh, 12 bouts in a row that he's written. They That's, weren't sure. They just, you know, even though he won. Him, and then he reminded him with that rematch with Anthony Kidd, too. It looks like he can still go rounds. But that consistency, round after round, we, we, we didn't have any amateur boxing experience. His flippings at, uh, at age 16, he learned them. He has those high cheekbones. So, which is not an easy task, but Rodeo was just easy with his first world title shot. That was in December. Stopped him in eight. That was in July. Yeah, that, that, that turkey jerky just with states than he wasn't preparing for his first world title shot. One sister, one brother, sister she lives in Florida. Fight. Yeah. He hurt himself in the Carlos Molina fight. That was a fan's well. You see him, he's a more mature now. Fighter of full class, Leonidas. Here's one, two from Leonidas. Leonidas coming out right away. Vocal in the build up to this fight, particularly fight week. How many tough fights the fighters had? Leonidas has been a psyche of Jorge Leonidas. Man, no, I wouldn't say that, but that's part of it. And he was also going about how Leonidas was. Otherwise, somebody can go promote, it's different. He's talking about Mikey Garcia. He's talking about Lomachenko. Linares is staying busy, just not waiting for a fellow name. Linares fought Luke Campbell September. Here he is back in January in the mix. Nothing for the fans. Linares slipped. Bang! He's lucky he's moving that fast at 4 a.m. Oh, here Linares is scheduled for 12. Be working his jazz, and he needs to be coming forward. Bill Borg, you can see him everywhere. Go to Japan. Took to the culture, too, and that, that helped. In fact, that he... Let him go, let him go, From 2002 let him go. to 2005, all his fight... Do a lot of running, a lot of conditioning, a lot of uh, aerobic... Why didn't bring it up here for a week? Because here you go, here's a back for the stuff. ...partner, uh, somebody who's in there trying to win. This is going to tip the tat round. It looks like one, two, uppercut. One, two, three, four. One, two, body shot. Costa comes up, 10 seconds to go in the round one. Yes. Unless Freddie learns Spanish all of a sudden. <laughs> You're right. The United States taking on a southpaw. Luke Campbell is also a southpaw. 150 <laughs> wins with his five losses. <laughs> yeah, he was a fourth. That is it, that smirk. That right hand landed from the Costa. If you add those with the 46 pro fights, that's fine. I, I scored round one for Hester. Hester looks good in flashes, as he often does. I think he would have uh, more, more victories by knockout. Solid right hand. Those punches and come right back. He smiles. There's a lot of natural fighting. Of, uh, if he was a more complete boxer, I think he could set up his power better. One, two again. So, you don't want to see him smile. Seventh round, it's good for 12. We haven't seen many combinations from Hester. He's nervous to exchange when he doesn't want to. And it's another beautiful left combination. <laughs> you see it in Hester. And the reason he's able to get off with him is not nearly enough in a around. As you're dictating this fight. As you're going to be shipped out. But really nervous, you don't feel like you're in any kind of danger. You're controlling this fight. As you're landing combinations. As you're landing the 
of shots, but he's been mostly nervous starting to control the last couple of rounds. It was his father. Seven was an excellent one. Before Freddie Roach got going, so maybe some desperate. Well, they should be desperate. Having that punch of power. A left from Hesta. He's got to put those shots together. Maybe Linares definitely not sitting down on any kind of punches. Now, saying he gets old words. You lose a fight, everybody jumps off your bandwagon. But you see the level is left. You know, sometimes he paused with the jab. Like the Hesta, it looks like he's he's out of ideas. Put on a show and do that by putting your combinations together. Being typically, this is the point where Linares begins to. His face is a mess after a fight yeah. where he completely dominated. Bring some pressure. Look at Jorge dancing around. What a showmanship from both. One, two in the back. He's in top shape. And he goes upstairs with a quick hook. Right hand. Seconds up the ninth round. Headed to the championship round between eight. Right in the middle of the ring. Between eight and eight. And Hesta. Hesta didn't have a bad ninth round. I'm sure the game plan from Freddie Rose was for Hesta shoulder that produces a cut by the right eye. I'm sure pressure on Linares. The cause of stress. Are you sponsored by? I mean, honestly, it feels like it helps him. He's moving, he's moving the hands, he's not, he's not bringing punching, it. right? Not bringing it. Body work from Linares. So the Eagles here. Now take it easy, baby. Hess does a southpaw position, but he's not really a south. Stand-ups that we see in the U.S. are converted southpaws. That's his father converted their gym. Did it too. Sure, they went to him. Boxer. Uh, I think he's still fighting because he... Good advice, obviously, from a Hall of Fame trainer. And so... Respect. And he has the same tattoo as the son does. And style-wise, it's like Hesta doesn't have anything special for him. Put your money on the underdog. He gives you hope and spots. And you go up against Horton Henley. Continues to rise. Good luck, Curtis. Heston needs to. He's got this. Into the mix. Let's just say Canelo's going to fight him. Make moves. Not to slip. Nino de Oro. Show with him. Let him go, let him go. Does not need to be in cruise control. Yeah. I want to go win that race. Well, both guys are Santa Anita. Ooh, you either need to outbox your opponent. From the opening bell to the final bell, Jorge Linares has really strong. Yes, he did. A good show for Jorge. Jorge.